So I thought I would show you how to make the raw cacao. Yeah, how do you say it better? So what you do is you reach into your cupboards and you get some raw cacao. You can buy it. It is quite expensive, but it's fantastic. Buy it in lumps. What I do is I chop it into small. I probably get about two of those. It's more here than what it is in the actual bar. And then chop it up. Do, 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 do. Throw it in here. Um, then it melts. And then obviously you don't leave it to boil. Yeah. Well, I don't. You can use what you want at the end of the day. And then give it a little mix if needed. If you, like, you will. Or you can use this to scrape out a little bit. Trying to get everything. And I get a little dish and I put it in here. And then this is the shape of my bar. Um, I would say to make a bar about this big, it probably costs about eight pounds. But when you think of what it's doing to your skin, when you think of your tattoo, we want to look after our tattoos, don't we? It works. It really does work. Trust me. So basically, you have here, and then we melt it. Can you see? Let's hope so. <laughs> so you let it melt after it's melted. Pour it into. Pour it into here. Leave it to set after it's set. Just leave it. Um, I haven't used mine since uh, December, the bar. And if it does get a bit manky, just put it in your hands um, for a while and the sort of top layer comes off and you can clean it that way if it makes sense. Super brilliant. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's starting to get hot now. It's nearly all done. The reason I chop the bits up small is because obviously for it to melt, if I put a big chunk like I've got there, um, it says raisins. It's not raisins. If I put a big chunk in, it's not going to melt. By the time the inside of it melts, the outside's going to be burnt and be no good. So we don't want that, do we? No. There we are. Let's do this. I know. I buy the wrong pans. <laughs> and this is what it comes out like. Oh. Smells delicious too. And you, you can eat it, you can put it in foods as well. I used to put a little bit of this in chocolate, so but that's obviously vegan homemade chocolate, a bit different. So here we are, it's. And you leave it, it'll set and it'll turn into that big bar, and that'll probably last till I get my next tattoo. Anyway, just thought I'd share.